Hi everyone, it's Elisa Tilsner. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. It is time for me to be creating my little thank yous to go along with uh, my class kits, my class by mails. I always pop a little thank you gift in with them. So I thought I, while I'm creating them, I would do a quick video to show you what I do. Now they are all themed to uh, the class that I have going on. So this one is for my flowering rain boots and I'm actually using the flowering um, flowering fields designer series paper. This was part of my kit. So I'm starting off with um, a 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter square of designer series paper. And I've got a few other ones to show you um, that I've done with different papers as well. So I'm gonna start by keeping my cutter right out of the way. I did have a little mishap before and I cut the wrong, cut off something I was supposed to be scoring. So we're gonna start at three centimeters and we're gonna score there. And then we're gonna come across to nine centimeters and score along there. This is a super, super easy little pouch. Then we're gonna swing around. So our score lines, which are really hard to see on this paper actually, I should have chosen a different piece of paper to show you, but we're gonna swing around and I'm gonna score at one centimeter and then swing that around and score on the other side at one centimeter. And that's it for the scoring at the moment. Then you just need to grab your snips and I think I've put my corner rounder away. So this is the three centimeter part here. So we'll start here and I am definitely having trouble finding my little score lines on this but we are going to just cut, there we go, there it is, two there. And then we're gonna cut along this one too. And then where our, whoops, try not to yank it, I don't wanna tear. And then where our other little score lines were, that I'm going to cut just to the score line. And then I'm gonna do just a little V just to keep things from puckering while I am cutting. Now I have to find my little corner rounder. I don't think I'm certain I didn't put it away yesterday when I'm cleaning up. It appears that I did. So if you have a corner rounder, just corner, just punch off those little ones from the top. I was being too efficient yesterday. I've cleaned my desk and I like to keep it that way for a little while. So now I'm just gonna fold all my score lines, fold those little flaps in, and it's actually gonna fold up like this and down like that. So we've got a little pouch going on. So what I'm putting inside, and I'm not gonna tell you what I'm putting inside because I want it to be a surprise for the people who get my class, but it's a little bit thicker than um, just to be able to have it like that. So I've got a square piece of six by six, six centimeters by six centimeters. And I'm gonna come in and just score at every centimeter. Okay, and then I come to this side. And I need two of these. One I have already done, I'll put that aside. And then we're just going to concertina fold these guys. And then with my bone folder, I just come in and just burnish that a little bit so that it sits a bit flat. Okay, so I've got two of them. Okay, and then I'm just gonna grab my tear and tape this is, these are really super quick to make and they're pretty cute too, I think. So I'm just gonna rip off because my tear and tape is super easy to use. I don't even need to have scissors. I just need to be able to find the ends of my tape. So just popping them on all four sides of these little tabs here. And then I will give them a super quick burnish just so that uh, I find it helps me to lift that um, that piece off, that little plastic, is it plastic? I don't know what it is, but that little film, I find it easier for me to be able to lift them up. 
and then just gonna pop them up and I'm gonna stick the little concertina fold down on top of that. And then this side as well. And pop that one down. It's pretty good. Okay, and then we just it's just a matter of taking these off. This is so simple, simple. If you were having a gift card or something, you I mean this has been tailor made. The size has been tailor made for what um, I have got going in it. And then you just fold that over. But if you just had a gift card or something in here, you perhaps wouldn't need to do the concertina fold. You could just have it as a little pouch. So there we have, so that way you can actually open up and put something a little bit wider in there and that will fold over the top. So I'm gonna go and pop my little goodie in there. I don't want, I'm doing it off camera so that you can't see what's in there. Now you can either just seal that shut and, and decorate the front, but I'm actually gonna put a, a little belly band on it. So I've got a piece of cardstock, which is uh, five centimeters by, I think I did 15. And I'm just gonna really lightly score just once I'm gonna go over and at five centimeters and at 12 centimeters. And then because my little pouch has become a little bit rounder, I'm actually just going to break the fibers a little bit so that it's not as harsh when I put my belly band around. And then I'm going to pop another bit of tear and tape just on one end. And then we're going to wrap get that sitting. And then I'm just going to wrap this around. So I've got a tiny little bit of a score line just to help fold that around. Peel off my tape. I didn't burnish. See, I find that it always is a little bit easier to get that tape off when I, well, supposedly <laughs> easier. Majority of times I find it easier. And then we we'll just seal that. And now we've got our little belly band going on. And keeping in theme with my class, I have already stamped out the flower pot and a little bunch of flowers die cut them and I've also used the thank you from the sweet strawberries stamp set I've popped them up on some dimensionals just to make this a super quick video and because this is the last one I need to make before I can start packing my kits so I've got one in green I've got one in mango melody I shouldn't say green I should say pear pizzazz one in mango melody one in poppy parade and one in rich razzleberry so um, I've just done multiples of them so you can get four of these out of one sheet of designer series paper so really super quick and easy and if you've got a little treat that you want to give away it's a nice way to dress them up so thanks very much for watching and we will catch you again soon bye